I ain't I ain't gonna lie, I ran I ran to a few peoples. I ran to a few peoples and if, if I didn't, I ran to some peoples who they good peoples and they like, yeah, they solid. Who you, you ran up and who you ran into? I ain't gonna put nobody out there like that. Man, like nigga, who you run into in that motherfucker, bro? Oh matter, matter of fact, it's my boy Doughboy, man. My yeah. boy Doughboy, right? So yeah. I run into him on the yard. We on the four yard. Four yard, this years down the line after that county jail shit. So yeah, we on the four yard, I run into him. And uh he thought I was a blood. So he think I'm a blood, cause you know I got a gang of red ink tatted. Yeah. So I'm out, we out busting. We busting down on the yard. I'm with all the black stones. You feel me? So clearly he all automatically thought I was one of them. So I'm like, he like, oh what's up, whoop? I'm like, well, this crib. Yeah, you feel me? he like, oh man, my bad, whoopty, why, why, why? But after that, like, we was cool, bust down every day until the nigga got shipped out. I ended up going to Oklahoma after that. Shit me, they kind aired me up out of there, chained up, <laughs> feel yeah. me, chained me up, get me up out of there. So, but uh, when I got out, I ended up running into my boy uh, Polly Rob. Polly Rob, feel me? Shout out Polly Rob too, local astronaut mm -hmm. now. So, uh, but yeah, I run into him. And we end up doing some music. Like a few years later, like down the line, like me and him already got a good relationship. I run into Doughboy. I'm like, bro, what, like, like, what's up, man? How long you been out? When you, you know what you doing up here? He so like, what age did you like really like start rapping? You feel me? And then start taking it serious. Shit, when I went down. When you went down, what, what, 16? Nah, 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 nah. Shout out to Polly nah, Rob too, man. Yeah. yeah, I was still tripping. I was still tripping at 16. I was still, nah. I didn't really stop tripping until I was 28. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. You like, feel me? But that was, after, yeah. that was after like two other terms and stuff like that. But by yeah. then, I was really rapping, rapping by then. But uh, that's when I had to like really just kick back. But uh, but yeah, that's how. So back to the Polly Rob thing. I'm working with Polly Rob. And they get to what you're asking. Mm -hmm. They get to what you're asking because I'm like, damn. So I'm with Polly Rob. And the nigga Doughboy walk in. So I'm like, damn, I ain't seen you since we was on the yard. Like, what you like, what you doing up here? He like, nigga, this is my best friend. Talking about Polly Rob. So I'm like, damn. And shit, we've been we've been rocking together since then. That was in probably like 2015. 2015, uh, I ran back in the dope. Nah, not that late. Probably 2014. Oh, yeah, probably 2014, 15. I ran back in the Doughboy. But like I said, when I met him, I was in the pen. You know, so then, uh, in there, that's when I start rapping. Off my last term, I was just, I was just rapping, 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 rapping. But connecting with other gang members, you know what I'm saying? Was that like your first indication to where you was just thinking about, you know what, this gang banging shit, you know what I'm saying, ain't gonna really take me far. You feel me? I really gotta connect with the world, you know what I'm saying, to be able to to do this shit. Nah, to be to be honest, in there, I connected with all the enemies first. Yeah. You feel me? Cause in, in that, you know, in the county, you get there and everybody want to pack shit out. Mm -hmm. I'm telling niggas, like, I'm like, nah, y'all, get that nigga's head up. Yeah. Niggas was mad. Like, no, man, we, let's pack him out. I'm like, nah. <laughs> like, nigga, if you ride with me, I need, it I, need, I need to make sure that you could be able to, you feel me? Like, we both could get up out of this if it get ugly. Yeah. So if you can't fight just one motherfucker, it's like, I don't even really trust you like that to be behind me. Yeah. You know, so... And 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 the people's from the other side, they respected that, and it was like, you know, and that that traveled way longer than just being a a, a nigga where I'm at mm -hmm. and where I'm from, you know, because like everybody gonna love you already if you're doing what you're doing already, but if you can transition and, and still keep it trill on the back end, you know, when it's ugly, ugly, when you ain't got none of the the utensils you really using out in the streets. And you still keep it solid like that? Like, yeah, they're going to respect that and they're going to love it. I mean, I, I'm glad you're saying that, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, 
If y'all don't know, man, these trouble niggas is UFC niggas. They karate. <laughs> <laughs> they do karate, you know what I'm saying? They do gymnastics. These niggas oh, is real. wild, you know what I'm saying? They take fighting serious as nah, a motherfucker. They boxing. So I know if you niggas ever got head up, y'all probably got your ass whooped, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. RIP my nigga Gabe because he was that nigga too, you know what I'm saying? Doing that shit, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, man, T.R.P. Punch, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got a, bro, I got a, I got a video of me and Punch boxing. Like, it was boxing like, like probably two and a half, three minutes probably. That nigga Adam always bring it up, you know what I'm saying? He always bring him up. Gabe and Punch, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, did Punch really like uh, Adam? <laughs> I mean, I nah, he got a, he, he, he got a <laughs> Yeah, he brought him up a few times. He brought him up a few times. Uh, yeah. But, uh. I was, I was like, I don't know who the fuck you talking about. Yeah, because he was doing his thing. He was bike riding. He was doing all the whole little shit. And I really didn't know what Cub was Tom doing and shit. And yeah. That was, was, was a minute ago, though, when he when he, when he when he when he used to be talking about dude. Like, because uh, I was, you know, I had Gabe in the studio, too. I had Punch in the studio, too, rapping. He on my, he on my first album I dropped. Everything scandalous. He on that. That's crazy that that nigga Punch was fucking with Adam. And then now that we here, you know what I'm saying, and I'm actually talking to you you know, on that nigga platform. That's the sickest shit on earth, you know what I'm saying? And I always think about that, you know what I'm saying? I'm real big on spirits and shit like that. Like, niggas is watching over us and doing the whole Bro, thing. everything come together, bro. Yeah. I, I, literally, I literally <laughs> forgot, too, like, about... The RB shit came from you. You didn't even know that. Damn. Oh, on tour. On tour. You told me that shit. You I didn't want to RB. I didn't want to. No, you clown. You clown my manager. Look at TFK. <laughs> you clown my manager, and yeah. you fried him so hard. I was like, I ain't gonna tell this nigga T Real. Like, eat that shit. But that shit got the. You know what I'm saying? That shit going. So like. So you've been you've been, you've been you've been you've been eating Arby's for a month. Nigga, for since, a I was, since I was one, two. What you was eating that too? Uh, for <laughs> Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> the homies just asked me like, bro, where are Arby's at? Well, the real, like, get the nigga, Arby's nigga, where the fuck look, is look, Arby's look. at? Nigga, look, I'm from Compton, cuz, so, nigga, we go, you know, we ain't got no mall, cuz. So we'll go to the Lakewood Mall, nigga. It's a, it's a, it's a Arby's right by the Lakewood Mall, you feel me? Grandma used to take me over there, we used to, we used to just fuck that shit up. Did she take you over there because they had a dollar menu, cuz? No, <laughs> they got no dollar menu. <laughs> nigga, you know, nigga, <laughs> nigga really liked the roast beef. Damn, you nah, cold, man. bro. You like it too, girl. You said no. Nah, it. it was cool. You bought but it. I fuck right. with it. I mean, I wouldn't push up, but if I if bro, you gave I seen, it to me, I, I fuck you with bring it. Bring the the sparklers with the RVs the other day, dude. You that's it's getting out of hand, hey, man. Hey, they hit me up because oh, of yeah. that. You feel me? They hit you? Yeah. Oh, wow. I told you if they give you a deal, I'm gonna eat that shit for a week, uh, nigga. Oh God in heaven, you know what I'm saying? But man, let's get back. <laughs> let's get back. I'm gonna bring you up the sandwich, that's man. How you, that's how you didn't gain that little twenty pounds, huh? On the low, yeah. in that Arby's. But let's get more. Let's get people more in touch with you, man. Because you know what I'm saying. Like I said, you unappreciated. You know what I'm saying. You underground. A lot of people need to know more about you. You know what I'm saying. We are gonna yeah. use this platform for niggas to know. You feel me? Because you been doing your thing musically. All and you respect it all around in the industry for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, you Grammy nominated. Let's what? just get the oh, yeah. just just get that out of the way. Know. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Grammy yes, nominated. sir. You you Grammy on, nominated on some crib shit though. Yeah, on some crib yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? On Schoolboy Q. You know what I'm saying? Tookie nose. Tookie nose. My nigga that was video, on that, that album. Video crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was on that album. He be doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out so, to traffic too, man. Yeah. yeah shout out my dog traffic, man. Why you think you ain't getting the exposure? You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be getting out here. You your bitch ass take forever to give me an interview, nigga. <laughs> That's <laughs> why, nigga. I just got on it. <laughs> you, you motherfucking took forever to put me on the fucking platform. <laughs> You nah, feel but, me uh, damn. I don't I don't I don't look I don't look at it as 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 it's, it took forever like it's you know it's perfect timing you know like cuz right now where I'm at what I'm doing right now like my mindset different like you feel me when I first started rapping I was I was still on I was still in the streets yeah you feel me I didn't even really care about rapping like I was I'm still with the homies we slide through like I remember people used to tell me hey Tia pull up to this rap event pull up to this pull up to this but don't bring them don't bring them and I'm like, man, fuck all that. I'm bringing the homies. Yeah. You feel me? I'm bringing the homies. And it got to the point where it was just like, like, damn, I start realizing once once they start going to jail, they start working out. I don't want to say, like, you know, it, it kind of happened like how it happened, but I wasn't going to never tell them not to come. Yeah, they couldn't come. You feel me? You can't tell the homies. I wasn't going to never do that. Yeah. You know, just me being who I am. But they just all end up going to jail. 
And then it just start working out and start working out. I start pulling up dolo. I'm pulling up dolo. I'm meeting different peoples. And then uh, at the same time, I was still like kind of like straddling the fence with the street shit. So uh, it was just one event. I ain't rapped in probably like six months. I'm just doing what I was doing, like, you know, busting my little moves and shit. So uh, I'm like, damn, I'm finna go to the lab. Bro, I go to the studio. I get a call like six in the morning. I stayed there all night too from like probably like eight to like till I got the call. Like I got the call like six in the morning. <clears throat> they like, man, they just raided the house. Took everybody. And I'm like, damn. Like and I got you feel me, my my situation a little different from everybody, so if I get caught, I'm going damn. Yeah. You feel me? So they can find this and that and this and that and this and that and this and that, but I ain't there, so it's like if that ain't sign, I don't know what it is. <laughs> nah, for real, like, you know, I ain't mm -hmm. gonna, you, yeah, so, uh, so, yeah, I'm in the studio, all this happened, I'm like, damn, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna start rapping, because I was already rapping, but I really wasn't, like, taking that shit serious, and then once nigga Spot got raided, I came back, and the whole, bro, the door was, like, from, from this little piece right here to this corner, that's how they snatched the door off. They snatched off the door and then more pieces, like a whole another foot outside of the bars, on from the top to the bottom to the sides. They yanked everything off. So it was like a whole walkway, like the size of this table. And I walked, I got home and was like, damn, they really yanked the walls off this motherfucker. I'm like, yeah, I'm staying in the studio. Kept rhyming, kept rhyming, then boom, squabble up here. Yeah. And we did Squabble Up. Then that hit, and then that got the, you know, AD was on that album, that first, mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, shout out Adrian Swiss, too, man. Shout out Adrian Swiss. Shout out Adrian Swiss, man. Yeah. 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 Tap me in on that, uh, the first, that, that Bloods and Crip album. I forgot which, uh, which edition it was, but one of them joints with the Squabble Up on it. And, uh, off that, G Perico reached out. And then we tapped in. <laughs> bro, that, then, to me, that's then, the best verse, bro, you ever did it. You went yeah. crazy on that motherfucker. Yeah, I do that on every one. <laughs> Nigga went crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go crazy that went crazy. Yeah. So just from from that point, once I was like, damn, like, I, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it because I'm gonna be gone, gone. You feel me? Like, and if I ain't gone, gone, I'm still be, I'm gonna have a little stretch for sure. So I just kicked back on everything and just kept rapping.